My name's Izzy and this is the Little Fishers Toddler Group which I help to run. Well, I've been coming to this group for about eight years so I've made loads of friends through this group and I think everybody else has as well so yeah it's really important. And my name's Lou and I'm the youth worker here and I work with young people aged between 10 and 18 providing them with lots of different activities for them to do plus being there to help support with school or with something at home or with just being here and being someone that you know that young person will come to and say can I talk to you. This youth group is the one place where all the kids get to come and to have some downtime to not have parents around with them. As soon as they come here, they're always really smiling, really happy to be here, you know, and they always want to be doing an activity and they always come in and say, are we doing this, are we doing that? Can we go and do that again, please? So, yeah, they, they're, they're a lovely group of kids. I'm Jackie, um, otherwise known as Brown Owl, and um, I run the Brownies unit in Stokes of Hampden, and I've done that for about five years now. Brownies gives them um, confidence in themselves, um, what they can do away from home and helping other people. Um, it helps um, the community in the um, litter picks and the charity ethos. And then we look at the bigger, wider picture of the world as well. So it really is <laughs> huge, the um, programme. It has been quite challenging with no fixed venue. Because we don't have our own building at the moment, we can't store our own equipment, we can't store paperwork, so paperwork is carried backwards and forwards. Basically, and young people don't have a space, which is they can call their own. We've got almost 60 children on the books at the minute coming along, and with the current size of the venue we've got at the minute where we are, we can't have them all coming at any one time. We're going to have to start turning people away soon. Um, so the venue here is great in many ways but it doesn't allow us to grow at all and we've now had to cap our numbers um, even though we've got more interest. As soon as the for sale sign went up on that Methodist hall I just thought oh my goodness what an opportunity there is. I immediately contacted the parish council and I said surely there must be 150 of us that could all contribute to buy this um, facility because it would just tick so many boxes. I couldn't be more pleased and proud and um, Yes, just immensely chuffed that they believe in us to carry this on. Having the Methodist Hall permanently available to us would mean that we can give the kids more activities. We're close to the big wreck, which means we've got more space to be. It means we can have an increased capacity of children, and it means that they can have more fun. By well, the community supporting getting the Methodist Hall, it's actually supporting that group of young people to be able to grow and then to be able to become more viable members of this community. I think it's brilliant that they're doing something for the younger people in the village. Um, and then obviously, you know, the toddlers will grow up and hopefully be able to make use of the other groups as well. It's the whole community and us all working together as individuals to make a better world. That's how I feel about it. I'm so proud for this community for making this happen.